So this is the beginning of a TED talk about the importance of spoken word, like in interacting with people, um, and like expressing yourself through the way you speak. So, yeah, that's all I have. Can I go ahead? Okay. If I should have a daughter, instead of mom, she's going to call me Point B, because that way she knows that no matter what happens, at least she can always find her way to me. And I'm going to paint the solar systems on the backs of her hands. So she has to learn the entire universe before she can say, um, I know that like the back of my hand. And she's going to learn that this life will hit you hard in the face, knock you down, and wait for you to get back up just so it can take you in the stomach. But getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much they like the taste of air. There is hurt, fear that cannot be fixed by band-aids or poetry. So the first time she realizes that Wonder Woman isn't coming, I'll make sure she realizes she doesn't have to wear the cape all by herself. Because no matter how wide you stretch your fingers, your hands will always be too small to heal all the pain you want to heal. Believe me, I've tried. And baby, I'll tell her, don't keep your nose up in the air like that. I know that trick. I've done it a million times. You're just smelling for smoke so you can follow the boy back to the burning house so you can find, so you can save him. Or else, find the boy who lit the fire in the first place to see if you can change him. But I know she will anyway. So instead, I'll always keep an extra supply of chocolate and rain boots nearby, because there's no heartbreak that chocolate can't fix. Okay, so there's a few heartbreaks that chocolate can't fix, but that's what the rain boots are for, because rain will wash away everything if you let it. I want her to look at the world through the underside of a glass bottom boat, to look through a microscope at the, the galaxies that exist on the pinpoint of a human mind, because that's the way my mom taught me that there'll be days when you open your hands to catch and wind up with only blisters and bruises. When you step out of the phone booth and try to fly in, the very people you want to save are the ones standing on your cape. When your boots fill with rain with disappointment, and those are the very days that you have all the more reason to say thank you. Because there is nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean refuses to stop kissing the shoreline no matter how many times it's in a way. You'll put the wind in winsome, gruesome. You'll put the star in starting over and over. And no matter how many land rides erupt in a minute, be sure your mind lands on the beauty of this funny place called life. And yes, on a scale from one to over-trusting, I'm pretty naive, but I want her to know that this world is made out of sugar. It can crumble so easily, but don't be afraid to stick out your tongue and taste it. Baby, I'll tell her, remember, your mama is a warrior, and your papa is a warrior, and you're the girl with small hands and big eyes who never stops asking for more. Remember that good things come in threes. But so do bad things. Always apologize when you've done something wrong, but don't you ever apologize for the way your eyes refuse to stop shining. Your voice is small, but don't ever stop singing. And when they finally hand you a heartache, when they slip war and hatred under your door and offer you handouts on the street corners of cynicism and defeat, you tell them that they really ought to meet your mother. 